24 January 2023 India and the world had lost its one of the greatest architect architect Balakrishna Vittal Das Doshi Welcome to the School of Architecture Ahmedabad that is the SEPT University here every space and every corner talks about architecture and the culture of India B.V. Doshi had designed the institute in such a way that it is timelessly user-friendly and long-lasting. So let's begin the video. Namaskar and welcome back to our channel, the UC, the Unbounded Creations. In study at the Red the Unbounded Creations. Let's hope this journey is going to be limitless. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that the next video is out it will reach you first so as we visited the campus the first thing which we saw was the exhibition which was arranged by the technology students of sept university we all were excited to see the exhibition which was produced in this campus the models kept there were amazing and with proper kind of guide boards they have arranged each and every table each and every model had certain kind of concept behind it pin up boards were pinned with different kinds of sheets which were explaining the concepts behind the model this footage shows that the campus was not only human friendly but also animal friendly the hard work of every student was clearly seen in the models The materials used for making the structures were RCC cement concrete and the bricks. This long concrete wall kept the climate cool. Upcoming video clip is about the traffic solutions. Crowded uh, uh, lane. what uh, this studio what we were trying to propose is uh, we were trying to propose that uh, so this is one of the very busiest uh, intersections in Ahmedabad this is how it looks right now this is the existing uh, plan of the intersection and this is what we were proposing what we wanted is uh, we did surveys and calculated uh, signal times and everything and we came up came up with these uh, design dif- uh, changes so what we want is to uh, so the rotary right now is like 33 meters in dia and what we want is uh, we can reduce the dia so that uh, the lane width can increase and people can move easily uh, we're introducing road markings a lot of times people usually uh, do not know where to drive around a rotary so to give them a direction sense of direction we introduce road markings and we provide separate uh, signal times for uh, we have brts here which is a separate janmarg like it's a separate uh, public transport where only one type of brts bus can move uh, uh, everywhere so uh, we have uh, separate lanes for them and when brts is moving uh, usually right now the situation is uh, brts uh, if it wants to take a left it will have to go all the way around the rotary so we are introducing signal different signal phases where only when this brts is moving from uh, its lane none of the other traffic will be moving only the bus so that way it can uh, reduce traffic it can help with uh, movement and reduce accidents and we did that for a lot of other intersections as well it's just my rule that so the other algorithms of the signal will be uh, incorporated in the same signal which are existing or you're going to propose some no, different we, signals no we uh, we proposing different signal times uh, so right now we have specific uh, numbers 
like from one approach to another they'll have some type of uh, red signal timing so we will be proposing different red signal time different green signal time definitely the traffic solutions were informative now let's get inside the campus which is the most awaited thing in this video So basically the campus was designed in such a manner that the half part of, uh, of the campus was underground. The staircase were wide enough so that more people can enter at a time. So the windows were also played with some kind of angle so that the direct sunlight should not enter inside the structure. Keeping the importance of human interaction in mind, Though she also created many courtyards in the campus which were human friendly and animal friendly at the same time. And the lush greenery kept the space even more cooler. This elements made this campus one of the greatest campus in India. So one of the architects who designed this campus was B.V. Doshi. So let's have a look at some of the greatest events happened in his life. He was born on 26 August 1927. 1947 he took admission in Sir J.J. College of Architecture. In 1950 he boarded the ship to London to complete his course of architecture. 1951 started working under Law Corbusier. 1956 established his own firm Vastu Shilpa and 1963 School of Architecture. 2018 he won the iconic Pritzker Prize. Now we are stepping into the library of School of Architecture Ahmedabad. The library is G+2 structure and G-2 structure. The glass blocks which you see on the floor is actually the ceiling of ground floor. Before establishing this campus, he said that every time we talk about architecture school college, there is always foreign reference. for example harvards oxfords etc and he asked where is our reference what is india's reference about architecture he always said that karma is something that you can't stop there is a prarabdha that is destiny and there is runanubandha that is relation which you have to complete there must be some relationship between you and me that's why you are here and i am here he added i just get what i have paid them earlier so as i said the glass blocks are the ceilings over here though she said nothing happens by chance it's all planned and not planned now it is planned long ago why a director thinks that he want to make a movie and he gets frame and hero happens to come at the same time and director says oh It is good that hero is there so the things are happening. Though she said no, there is some connection somewhere. You can't find it best is to accept it gracefully and complete the transaction without any argument. And if you argue then it will come back to you. The bold message which he gave to young architects like us are young architects needs to connect the world. Young architects needs to understand the technology. Young architects needs to know how to economize and sustain buildings as well as society and culture. One of his famous quotes were I realized that education implies exposure, assimilation, dialogue and exploration. Those things really affected me a lot. Sept University is the best architectural campus I have seen ever in my life.
tainting the unbounded creations.